So the Butler Bulldogs played at the Xavier Musketeers yesterday at the Cintas Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, Butler lost the game 73-56. to Pretty much Xavier showed up to play and Butler didn't. Um, just a lot of things went wrong for Butler in this game. Did, you know, usually Butler does a great job of being a, the aggressor and out-rebounding other teams, and that wasn't the case. Butler couldn't shoot the ball. Xavier seemed to hit everything. Not having Andrew Travis really just really affected us big time. Um, his post presence, the offense that goes through him in the post, is very beneficial to the success of the team. And uh, so that pretty much just left us with Kellen Dunham's guard play is shooting. And uh, he got three fouls in the first half, so he was in foul trouble. As soon as he goes out of the game, it just got out of hand. Um, when he finally did get a comeback in to start the second half, he picked up his fourth real quick, and it didn't matter anyway. Xavier was hitting every three-pointer. Xavier came to play, and Butler did not. So <clears throat> it sucks losing to your rival, but at the same time, I can't really – I don't know. I don't think – even if we showed up, I don't know if we were going to win the game. Um, the way Xavier was shooting the ball, the way Xavier was being aggressive, the way, I don't know, it's just, <clears throat> I expected to have a loss, you know, not just the Villanova loss, I was expecting another loss, or two, or three even, you know, with Andrew Travis being out, and uh, this was the first one, so hopefully, uh, we've got a game against Marquette coming up, but uh, at home, but uh, as far as this game goes, like I said, Butler lost 73 to 56 to fall to 19 and 8 on the season, 9 and 5 in the Big East. Um, Tyler Weidman had two points on one of one shooting. He added four rebounds. One was offensive. He had four assists. Roosevelt Jones had 14 points on five of 12 shooting. Uh, he had three rebounds. Cameron Woods had seven points on three of six shooting. He had nine rebounds. Three were offensive. Alex Barlow had 10 points on 4 of 11 shooting. He was 2 of 6 behind the 3-point line. He added 5 rebounds and 2 steals. Kellen Dunham had 9 points on 2 of 5 shooting. He was 1 of 3 behind the 3-point line. Uh, got 5 bench players in this game. Austin Etherington played 11 minutes, was 0 of 2 from the field. Um, 3 rebounds for him. No points. Jackson Aldridge played seven minutes, zero points for him. He was 0 of 2 from the field. Both of those shots were from behind the three point line. He added two assists. Jackson Davis played nine minutes. He was 0 of 2 for the field. from the field for zero points. He added four rebounds. Stephen Bennett came in, played three minutes. He had six points on two of two shooting. Uh, Keelan Martin came in for 24 minutes, almost as much as uh, some of the starters. He had 8 points on 3 of 14 shooting. He was 0 of 1 behind the 3 point line. He added 4 rebounds. Uh, for the game, Butler shot uh, 20 of 57 for 35.1%. Xavier was 27 of 59 for 45.8%. 3 pointers, Butler 5 of 16 for 31.3%. Xavier was 7 of 16 for 43.8%. Free throws, Butler 11 of 16 for 68.8%. Xavier 12 of 16 for 75%. Uh, rebounds, 39 to 35 in Xavier's favor. Both teams had eight offensive boards. Assists, 13 to 9 in Xavier's favor. Steals, 7 to 6 in Xavier's favor. Blocks, 9 to 3 in Xavier's favor. Turnovers, 11 to 14 in Xavier's favor. 17 fouls apiece for both teams. Points off turnovers, 15 to 7 in Xavier's favor. Uh, second chance points tied at 10 apiece. Points in the paint 36 to 28 in Xavier's favor. Uh, fast break points 11 to 4 in Xavier's favor. Uh, there were no ties or lead changes. It was pretty much Xavier the entire game. Um, they just they played really well, and I gotta respect that. Um, they just had uh, that Miles Davis jacking up three pointers. He was hitting shots like crazy for them, um, and. Uh, they just they just played really well, and we didn't. We played terribly. So like I said, uh, we got Marquette coming up on Wednesday night, and that's one of our last two home games. So hopefully we can get that win. I think 20 wins gets you into the NCAA tournament out of a power conference, and Butler is right on the threshold of 20 wins. So Marquette's one of the supposedly one of the easier teams in the conference when you look at conference record, but. Uh, we got to make sure that we keep Luke Fisher in check and that we're able to 
take away their three-point shooting abilities. Um, so hopefully the effort will be there, and hopefully we show up and don't get in foul trouble and all that other stuff. So anyway, Butler loses 73-56, to 56 and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.